Hey, this is Christopher Quick. Typically, this time of the year, the UK Ministry of Silly Charts announces the top 10 silly charts. And this year, all ministers in the UK are busy with the Brexit, so I had to step in. And I'm here with my daughter, Eva. Hi. And she's going to announce the rankings. Yeah, so let's start. The rank number 10 is the sausage chart. Yeah, all right. The, the sausage chart is a variant of the pie chart. Actually, we don't need any data for this, so you can just do a value loop formula as the dimension. As a measure, we will do equal sized segments. And let's make this a donut chart and watch this styling, which is new since September. You can give beautiful corners and inner radius. So uh, it's now important to set the color. So the second segment will be white and the others get a sausage color. This is the sausage color. And basically then just let's get rid of the annoying labels. And here is the sausage chart. The rank number nine is the saw chart. The saw chart, okay. Right, and for this we will just add some AutoCAD generated data, uh, a field called X, which has a numbering from one to thousand. This gives a nice X axis, which we'll use right now. The dimension is X, and as a measure, we will add some formula that adds at minus three and at minus four some points. You don't see them yet, quite good so let's make this an area chart um, turn on the continuous axis and hide the mini chart and it's important to show those points as connections so here's the saw and yeah not totally satisfied uh, this can be better let's give this a slope of x divided by 500 so it has a little bit of an increase throughout the saw yeah that looks good and now let's hide the legend and the axis let's make the saw black and there we go this is the saw chart the rank number eight is the crosswalk chart the crosswalk chart for this we will go for a bar chart and add actually just value loop 11 stripes Give them equal height of one and the only trick here is actually to again go to the color formula and make the stripes in two different shades of gray just two not 50 and uh, well then hide all the irrelevant parts like the x-axis again and no labeling no grids and this is the crosswalk chart and rank number seven is the stairs chart. All right. This is again a line chart and we will make use of the field X, which we generated. And the beautiful formula ceiling here creates the steps for us. So you can see them already in the mini chart down, but let's style it a bit different. Uh, show the points as connectors, use continuous axis, hide the mini chart, use it as an area. And now let's get rid of the labels and the grid. That's the simple version of the stairs chart. Let's add now a handrail, convert this to a combo chart, and let's add a second measure called X plus 600. This is a little offset. Make sure it's on the same primary axis. And to appear a bit fatter, let's show the data points here. And then we have a stair with a handrail. Then the rank number six is a flower chart. So this is again a variant of a pie chart with 25 segments and we will use a little randomizer here so the segments are not exactly equal. And we have to turn off the limit to show all 25 segments, make this as a donut chart and then turn off labels again go into the styling and the styling with the corner radius and an inner radius like this makes it appear like a flower so we can now also set the outline to white and that's almost beautiful now let's um, make also the use of the radius here so let's make the, the leaves show a little different in length even and now the most important part let's go to the color expression and get two yellowish colors 
and here is our flower chart ready. All right, so we're with the top five now. Yeah, and the rank number five is the Mackie chart. The Mackie chart. Yeah. So when I worked on this chart, it makes me hungry after burgers. I don't know why. Uh, it's again using the x-axis, but only the first 720 points. And then as a measure, we will use a sinus formula. So this actually makes one nice sinus wave until the end. Um, yeah, let's again turn on continuous axis, turn off the mini chart so it looks like this. And basically, let's now mirror the second half of the wave using absolute formula, F apps. So this gives this M shape. Now the middle part needs to be a little higher. Let's create a formula with half the wavelength and a tenth of the amplitude, which gives like this curve and add the two together. This is nice. So let's get rid of the other one again. Now let's convert this to a combo chart because I also want to add a background. The initial line will be a line and now we add another measure with any height, make this appear as bar so it gets its own axis and with the button add new master item we can go ahead straight and give this a reddish background color. Now we have to give of course the other line a yellow color and also add this as a master item. Here is the yellow color and now we just want to hide the labels and adjust the maximum height of the scale to be exactly at the edge of the M. And the rank number four is the shark chart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we will start again as a line chart and work on X, our number between 1 and 1000. The first measure is the water depth at minus 3 and let's appear as an error. You can see the water now. Turn on continuous axis, turn off the mini chart as we had before, hide the labels, blah blah blah. And now let's work on the shark. The second formula actually defines some special points for X at 530, 580 until 601. And this gives certain points, which we have to show as connections. And here's our shark fin. But I haven't seen a red shark before, so let's add this as a master item so we can color it. Make this shark fin show black. And there we go. This is our shark chart. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are now with the top three ranked charts. So, the rank number three is... The highway charts! <laughs> and this again is a special chart that needs some more data to be loaded. Basically some degrees of a pie chart and colors of a pie chart. So when we load this, we can go ahead and paint the pie chart. As a dimension, we will use the highway segment as a measure, the highway degrees with some, for example, then turn off the limitation to show all the numbers. Make sure the sorting order is according to highway segment and then turn off the labels and legends. And when we go to the colors, go by expression. And now we use the highway color from the script for the segment color. And now we see a highway to the end of the horizon. The highway chart is my personally a favorite chart because it can also be a pyramid. Yes, if you select just the first three segments and then use your mouse wheel to turn it like this, you will see a sky and a pyramid. And the rank number two is the dice chart. Also the dice chart needs some new data in the script. Basically six phases of the dice defining where six different points are located. As we load this, we go ahead and paint a map chart and use this as a point layer. So the dice points show in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean somewhere this doesn't matter. 
So let's increase the bubble size a little and turn off the annoying artifacts like the, the legend tooltips and actually also turn off the map background, make this none. And the under appearance, you can also hide the legend. This gives a nice lean white background. This doesn't exactly look like it dies yet. So let's add another layer. And this is going to be a shape again. And as a formula, we will define eight corners around the dots. And here is our dice. Now let's make this like a dark gray background and in contrast, let's set the points to white and make them a little, give them a little smaller bubble size. And here's our dice. Now we need also to roll the dice. For that purpose, we will create an action button from the custom objects quick dashboard bundle and create an action in the center of the screen the action will set a field value and the formula to use here is basically a randomized number between one and six. And I have to bring in now as to invalidate the cache each time I click this. So now when I click, I get different faces of the dice. And who is the winner, Eva? Yeah, the winner is the Click Logo Chart. The click logo chart. Here's the prize. Wow, how nice. For the click logo chart to show, we will need some more script, and this will load some circles consisting of 96 different polygon points and a rectangle, inner and outer circles. And then we can go ahead and create a map object, add a polygon layer and load those polygons. So it's the polygon ID as the dimension and the polygons as the location. And this already plots the Q logo somewhere in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean again. So we will have to color this by expression and the ID also has a color behind. So the polygons ID as a color gives also the right coloring. Now let's just go ahead, get rid of the background map, get rid of scale bar and legend. So the last thing that annoys is the visible outline boundary and we can fix that by going back into the layer settings and to change the outline opacity to 0% and we have got the perfect logo. So guys, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Usually it's more serious and uh, I had to do this. It was a rainy, boring Sunday afternoon in November. So back my pardon and see you next time.